Hello, today I would like to present you this absolutely beautiful vintage mega ohm meter that is being powered not by battery but by a hand crank. So we are going to be using power of our muscle to make the measurement and it's being called a inductor. You can find this device also under name Mega from the US company. That device is being called Mega Ohm Meter and that's because we've got our scale in Mega Ohms. That model go up to 300 Mega Ohms, but we also have got a secondary scale in Kilo Ohms. But it is not main selling point of that device. 300 Mega Ohms you can get extremely easily on cheap digital multimeter. What is distinguishing that device from rest is extremely high measuring voltage and that voltage is always present on the scale. In case of that device, we've got a 250 volts. This is the measuring voltage that is going to be applied across terminals. And that high measuring voltage allow you to detect problem in devices like motor winding or transformer winding. If there will be break in insulation like an in uh, email wire and the current will be able to jump across, then this device is going to be detecting that. If you grab a regular digital multimeter that will be using 3 volt or 1.5 volt as the measurement voltage, it might be not enough to jump across and it will not show you the real condition that the motor is going to have when it's going to be plugged into mains AC. So only high voltage close to the operating voltage is going to give you a true measurement value and allow you to operate your device safely. Your measurement voltage should be above or extremely close to operating voltage. That device got 250 volts, but you can get a new digital version that allow you to select whatever voltage you need for particular application. This device is absolutely beautiful and that's because it's being operated by a hand crank and it allow you to be always ready to do your measurement, especially that those devices because of the high voltages and needing to step up voltage from battery are being fed by multiple ones. So here we've got the digital one and we've got a lot of batteries inside. So having an inductor to do couple measurement per year is absolutely beautiful you just crank it and you are always ready to go here we've got our terminals and at the very beginning they are most likely going to be intimidating and that's because you've got two scales and you need to apply your load into combination of those terminals so if we would like to measure mega ohms then we are going to attach our resistance between those two blocks but if we would like to measure kilo ohms then we need to bridge those banana sockets together and attach our load between that and those two combined for that use case you've got those measurement wire and this is what you are going to get and as you can see the manufacturer sell them with this let's call it a bus bar that is going to be fitting and connecting those two terminals together so you are going to get extremely easy measurements so we go like this and we are ready to go with measuring in the kilo ohms those two terminals are bridged together and the kilo ohms is here to test our device, we are going to grab a resistor like this. It is a 1 kilo ohm. We're going to connect it into our test leads, just like that. Go like this. And now we are going to nice and steady crank. 
and as you can see we've got a perfect measurement of one kilo ohm because we are going to be using the bottom scale here you've got the kilo ohm now let's check the mega ohm range so first we are going to undo those terminals and i'm going to grab one terminal over there because me, our mega ohms are here and connect it there so here goes our resistor we are going to connect a mega ohm one here we've got it to our test leads and as before we are going to nicely crank it and as you can see on the upper scale we've got a one mega ohm so as you can see the device is operational if you would like to check if our measurement is correct then we can grab our modern one here we've got our modern one i'm connected between line and earth we are going to nicely connect it here because of the safety reason you have to press that button here it is extremely safe because your one hand need to be on the handle on the battery operated device you can do something stupid and apply that high voltage to yourself so as the safety precaution you have to press and hold that button but there is also a lock but i would not advise to use it so here we are on the 250 volts resistor is attached i'm going to press it and we read one mega ohm exactly like on that device so this is how you operate your vintage inductor mega ohm meter so thank you very much for watching i hope you find that interesting see you next time and bye bye